Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Today we're watching a film which I haven't really heard too much about but a lot of people in my Twitch chat recommended it and my Discord also recommended it and it has a really good rating and it has Brad Pitt and I believe Morgan Freeman. Yes, I believe it does have both of those actors in it. I honestly have no idea what this film is about. It's called Seven has two great actors and it's recommended so i figured i'd give it a try going in completely blind so i hope it's a good one and so guys let's start watching he looks so young maybe i should have researched about what this film was about before watching it but sometimes it's fun to just go into a film having no each other like for two fucking hours clue what's happening then they heard the gun go off okay that's a dead body what kind of fucking question is that? Okay, so I'm assuming he's like a cop no, we are all or a detective or something. When we get ready, you know? What? There's always these questions with you. That's so the mean. Or maybe he's just a caring person and wondering how this child is doing in case he saw the murder and probably needs a therapist. Hmm? I'm Detective Mills. Gonna... Young Brad Pitt just hits different, you know. Even old Brad, but well, older Brad Pitt hits as well. <laughs> Yes, the same reasons as you. I mean, the same reasons you had before you decided to quit, yeah? The reasonable question, though. If you're calling the shots, Lieutenant. Yes. I think I to look, it was just a simple question, though. Now, I wasn't standing around. He got defensive real Bell. quick. They've just met, and this relationship already seems tense. <laughs> Is this film a horror film? There's, there's some weird fucking imagery <laughs> in the intro. Oh, it's got Gwyneth Paltrow. It's got a really long intro, hasn't it? <laughs> but he's going. Monday. Ooh, has there been a murder? He's getting some gloves and torches. I'm assuming they're both detectives. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, there's a policeman there. I beg your pardon, detective, but this guy's been sitting in a pile of his own piss and shit. Oh, he God. But yeah, if he's got his, his fucking face in spaghetti and covered in piss and shit, <laughs> I can understand why you wouldn't want to touch him. But it's his job. He should have shut the vital signs. This place seems spooky. Why is it so dark inside in the middle of the day? Oh, God. Okay, this place is gross. Oof, indeed. This place looks like it must be stinky. Whoops. Why are his feet tied together in his hands? How did he die? Did he, like, get drowned in spaghetti or something? Got dead on the ground. Oh, so that... I used to be fucking physically ill blood. seeing that. Shoulder blades. And he must have screwed up a few times because there was... Why is his skin all, like, weird and veiny? The bucket? Oh, God, what's in the bucket? Is it poop? Why oh, did he put his face so close to it? Vomit. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's so gross. <laughs> this place is disgusting. Surely you can smell that from further away as a fucking bucket of vomit. God damn. Send in forensics on your way out. Oof, you got told to leave. I mean, I'm no expert on poison, but surely like a poisonous substance probably caused all those veins to be like that, right? Well, that was a gruesome murder and I was not expecting it. Just don't jerk me off, that's all I ask. Don't jerk me off. What does that even mean? <laughs> In this context. Ooh. Ah, this is a pee pee. <laughs> I should have done my research into this film. <laughs> now look at this. See how big this stomach is? And the strange thing is, it stretches. Here. So we did die by eating? Yes and no. He sort of died by eating? What about these bruises up here? Yeah, why were his hands and feet tied together? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a homicide. Was someone holding him at gunpoint, forcing him to eat, maybe? You, put a bucket beneath. you don't risk the time it takes to do this. Unless the act itself has meaning. Come Literally on. torture. Somebody had a problem with the fact. I'd like to be reassigned. What? what? Reassigned? What? Whoa. Huh? What in the hell are you talking about? It's just going to go on and on and on. You're retired. 
He's like, fuck this case. <laughs> Give me an easy one. This should not be his first assignment. Oh, come on. I mean, you haven't even given him a chance. first assignment, you dick. It's too soon for him. And it's hey his man, first you assignment. Know, I'm right here. You can say that shit to my face. In this Captain. precinct. It's too soon for you. Not ever. Captain. Say what? Yeah, he doesn't want it. Fuck him. Sorry, but we'll see you later. Have a nice time. <laughs> Give it to me. No, I'm putting you on something else. I guess he's got to prove himself first, right? He's just like, I just want to fucking retire. <laughs> now you give me this crappy case, which will take ages. Oh, maybe seven means like seven murders. Could be a serial killer, maybe? <gasps> maybe one a week. I've solved it. <laughs> Defense attorney Eli Gould was found murdered this morning. District attorney Wait, what's on the Martin picture? Is taking questions it's like from reporters. blood maybe on the picture? Of swift justice. No pressure. <laughs> Ooh, read. Could you not do that, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, Graham, <laughs> you're not gonna be a cop anymore. That's the whole idea. But he can't wait. It must be fucking mentally straining to have to look at so many dead bodies and. Ugh. This happened just last night, about four blocks from here. What? Yeah, I read about it. So many murders happening. Where is this place? Fucking Gotham or something? <laughs> Why is there so many murders happening? That's weird. Did he make him eat bits of the floor? What does that say? Glutton? Seven deadly sins? Oh, is he gonna kill seven people because of seven deadly sins? There are seven deadly sins, Captain. <gasps> I was right! Gluttony. Yeah. He's definitely going to end up working this case. <laughs> no matter how much he doesn't want to, he's going to get dragged in somehow. Far away from here. <laughs> I bet the taxi driver's like, where the fuck is far away from here? Where do you want me to drive you? <laughs> Play poker all night. Hey, we got culture. Yeah, we got culture <laughs> coming out our head. Well, at least they're having a good time. Oh god, these are some interesting pictures. I guess they're both doing their research to maybe get ahead and try and figure out what he's gonna do next. Something, who knows. Oh, he was doing research to help other detectives. That's so nice. He seems stressed. <laughs> oh god, there's gonna be another one, isn't there? Package? Uh, why is he hiding those? It's a package deal. Comes with the office. <laughs> and it's your office now. You gotta answer the phone. It's my wife. Oh, his wife? Yes, thank you very much. She invited him to dinner or something. So they can become best pals. On what? <laughs> David. This okay, is good. All right, I'm gonna... Okay, William and David. I did not even know their first names before this either. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Doggies! Oh! Well, good boys. Why oh, have so many dogs? Newspaper everywhere. They're not allowed in the rest of the apartment? I understand you two are high school sweethearts. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Why aren't you married, William? Oh, Trace, what the hell? Have a personal question? I was close once. Anyone who spends a significant amount of time with me finds me disagreeable. Just ask your husband. Very true. <laughs> Takes time. Settle in. She hates it. Be good. Well, can tell. After. Jesus, that is loud. No wonder she hates it. <laughs> like a mini earthquake. Vibrating home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least he can't laugh. I haven't seen him even fucking crack a smile yet. All right, already. No wonder Mills is grumpy all the time. Probably can't even fucking sleep. Stomach. Oh my god. All right, let's take a fresh look. This film is dark. I was not expecting this. It's when you regret your sins, but not because you love God. I like because someone's sticking a fucking gun in your face. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. There's still gonna be five more as well. 
which I don't get. But there has to be a pattern as to how he picks his victims somehow. Nobody asks us to help. You have a fire, they come running. That's fucked up. It is fucked up, but it's true. I was also like, I've heard of that as well. This poor dog's locked in that room. Oh, they've been called in again. Has there been another body found? Oh, they're going to see the wife. <gasps> She's got to notice something, surely. Is the painting different? This painting, it's upside down. Hmm, another clue. Something behind the painting, maybe? In the painting? Rip it apart. The back is so loose. There's got to be something underneath, right? What the fuck is that? No pocket knife. Gotta be something. Otherwise, why would he hang it upside down? Go to all that effort for no reason. Behind the wall? I could just knock the wall down. <laughs> I would not be a good detective. Ooh, fingerprints. Call the print lab. Those are some pretty clear prints as well. Have you ever seen anything like this? What is it? Then whose fingerprint? And why would they write help me? It must be exciting though when you do figure something out. I get that in games. If I'm like solving a puzzle and I figure something out, I'm like, oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> Thursday. Well, there's been no more murders yet. There's only been two so far. Still five to go. Spent some time in prison here a while back for the attempted rape of a minor. Jesus His lawyer Christ. saw to it that that didn't last long. What? His lawyer, by the way, has recently ceased Eli what a terrible Green lawyer. Murder. I've always questioned that. Like, how, how lawyers sleep at night sometimes when they defend someone who is definitely guilty or fucked up shit. I don't know if this guy is going to be the murderer, though, you know? I don't think he is. They're probably going to find him dead or something. I've only taken my gun out three times with the intention of using it. Damn, in like 34 years? Not That's not bad. I feel like the actual murderer has made such like meticulous details when it comes to these murders. I don't think he'd be stupid enough to just leave his fingerprints all over the wall and like leave a clue that leads to the fingerprints. I feel like it's got to be a setup or this guy's going to be dead as well. I don't think he's going to be the murderer, even though he has a record of criminal activity in the past. I think he's gonna be dead. God, my hands are sweating. I'm nervous. Why am I so nervous? What's gonna be behind the door? What is that? Hang from the ceiling. Are this car freshness? Oh god, what is it? What is it? Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead. He's definitely dead. Surely, I'm scared. I'm scared to look. Oh. oh fuck me. Oh god. Dex. Has he got a hand? Because I'm thinking the murderer must have chopped off his hand. And like used it to do the the uh the fingerprints everywhere. This film is making me feel like a little bit nauseous. I'm not a huge fan of really gory shit. That's just victim. Fucking All called it, he chopped off his hand! Like well, that's the third victim. The fuck? Oh, this is horrible. Okay. <coughs> oh, oh my god, he's alive! This is why we should check vitals. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he looked very dead though, so I don't blame them. But holy shit. Did the guy just like tie him to the bed and starve him or something? This film is stressing me out. I really hope they find who it is. Fuck you, I got your picture, man. Oh, yeah? oh who the fuck cares? Picture, yeah? Get out of here. Yeah, fuck you. I mean, I sort of respect that. Get here, so fucking... They pay police for the information. And they pay well. Hey man, I'm sorry. Up. I, they pissed me off. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I... it's impressive to see a man feeding off his emotions. It makes sense. Well, at least this guy isn't actually dead. Dead. He chewed off his own tongue long ago. These are some really gruesome, like murders, attempted murders. Oof. Well, this is real dark. It's getting darker as the film goes on as well. We're only like halfway through. <laughs> Oh, I have a bad feeling something's gonna happen to Tracy. To to, do you think I don't know you why? Me? I'll get used to things. You know? No, I, I feel bad I just, for her. I to talk to someone who's lived here. She's probably for a really long time. lonely. David and I are gonna have a baby. That's congratulations! <laughs> he doesn't seem very happy about it. 
and over the next few weeks, I wore her down. Oh, that's a bit of a horrible oh, thing to do. Children. You spoil that kid every chance you get. Also, move out of this city, because fuck this city. She does need to talk to to Detective Mills about it instead, though. Even though it's ultimately her choice at the end of the day, I think she should still talk to him about it because his input does deserve to be heard. But yeah, I do not fucking blame her for hating this city. This city seems horrible. As soon as they've got there, they've got this fucking serial killer on the loose and they live in a shitty apartment with the Victor's landlord loud noises. An envelope of Dancing around in, 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 his, in his grandma's panties. Yeah, rubbing himself in peanut butter. Ooh, how's that? That's a weird image. <laughs> We walked into that apartment exactly one year after he tied Victor to the bed. One year to the day. So he's been planning these murders for at least a year, considering he's been tied a year to the bed. He's a nutbag. Just because of the fucker's got a library he's a card doesn't make him He's a patient nutbag, though. People thinking we're dating. Nothing wrong with that. Who's this guy? What's he gonna do? Who's this person? Yeah, help yourself. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> But they paid a guy well, to do something. I'm trusting you more than I trust most people. I'm good, because I'm about ready to punch you. <laughs> Monitoring reading habits. Ah. Well, certain books are flagged. As his library records fed into the FBI's computers from then on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. How is this legal? Oh, it's not. Only on the these yeah. So there you are, not this. So you can track who's if got out the books on the seven deadly sins. Could give us a name. Good. Very clever. Name some college kid running her. It's something, okay? Office. Not perfect. But it might give them some information. Let's take a look at it. Talk to him. This is crazy. Well, John Doe is probably a fake name, right? That's what they use for bodies who are unidentified. Oh, fucking angels. Name off a computer. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, shit. Oh, I thought he was going to fucking... Ah! <laughs> Oh, okay, now he's running. Get up, get up, get up. Go, 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 go. He should go down the fire escape. Go down the fire escape and get him. Go, for, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh God, has he got a child hostage? He's probably gone down the fire escape himself. Ooh. God damn, if only they were a few minutes later, then they might be able to catch him in his apartment. Yeah, throw shit at him. Yeah, get him. Good job, people. Seems injured. At least they know where he lives now, because there's probably evidence in there as well of what he's been doing. If it is the right person. This guy might be running for a completely different reason. <laughs> and he's not actually a serial killer. But it's seeming likely. Where's the other guy? I hope he's waiting at the bottom, like... Hands up, bitch! Damn, this is a long-ass chase. Ooh. Come on, someone run him over. He took a sweet time to get downstairs. Ask them, have they seen anyone run through here with a gun? Although they probably wouldn't help a detective, so... Is he gonna be behind him? I'm so nervous. Ah! <laughs> no! Shit. Well, there you fucking are! What are you doing? Have a casual jog? You didn't kill him? Took your sweet time. Maybe he only kills people he really plans to and does his research on. He doesn't seem the type to just spontaneously kill someone. What are you talking about? Fucking shot at him. You should go to the hospital, to be honest. We need a warrant. We got probable cause. Tell me one about this. Oh, come on. I can't tell anyone about this. True. True. We have no reason to be here. But would you just pay attention to me? Just go to the hospital. You're bleeding in like multiple areas. The fucking guy will walk. Now, is that what you want? No. He is right, though. <laughs> God damn it. Why would you do that? Because even if there is evidence, they probably can't use it. You just fucked it up. Stupid son of a... Yep, agreed. So they paid someone to give a fake story so they have reason to break down the apartment. I guess they sort of had to do that, didn't they? They couldn't risk not having a reason, otherwise it would all be fucked. And what is all this? 
Okay, there's a red cross. Interesting. Can someone put a, like a light on or something? Why well, these guys got to use torches? There we go. <laughs> That's a lot of aspirin. And a lot of locks on the door. <gasps> Spaghetti sauce. Oh, he's got like little shrines dedicated to each person. The hand he cut off. Well, this is definitely the serial killer guy. For sure. Hopefully he's left like a passport around or something. <laughs> The leather shop. Oh god, what's in this room? I think there's a person in there or something. Another victim. Pictures of all his victims. Oh, it's so annoying he got away. Oh god, some of this is so graphic. Fucking talk in front of fucking stairs. Oh, the fucking photographer. Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, they were never going to suspect him. Yeah, wait, and there's one more thing, and you're yes. probably not going to believe this. What? We haven't found a fingerprint yet. Yeah. What? Yeah. Does he just wear fucking gloves everywhere? There are 2,000 notebooks on these shelves, and each notebook contains about 250 pages. Oh my anything God. about the killing. I almost didn't notice it had happened, but I suddenly threw up all over it. Ew. It's not placed on the shelves of no discernible order. Oh, that's so infuriating. Oh, I bet it's this fucking serial killer ringing them just to taunt them or some shit. You will accept my apology, won't you? I feel like saying more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. What the fuck? So it's gonna be more murders? How? There's there's only like 40-ish minutes of the film left. How are we gonna get in? Like, there's many more murders and they gotta solve it. Looks like a pro. Maybe. She caught John Doe's eye. I mean, Lust is one of them, so if I was the Detective Mills, I'd be like, to my to my wife, I'd be like, be fucking careful, because who knows what fucked up shit is going to happen. You might go after you next. And then drinks it. What? Perform his song. Uh, hmm. Oh no. <laughs> What's happened now? Okay. Is she alive? Hopefully she's alive. She's dead. She's dead. What's he got on him? I want to go downstairs. I want to get a little ooh la la. Whatever. Ooh la la. You gotta come to you. Yeah? Do you like what you do for a living? These things you see. This no. film, bruh. I'm sh he, he had a gun. And then, then, then he made me wear it. Then he told me, I feel he, physically he, sick. He told me to fuck. What is this film? Why do people recommend this to me? <laughs> what the hell? Why would anyone even make that and be like, yeah, this is fucking fine to make? What the fuck? He's just a man. Fucking evil ass psycho man. Damn right. And you're gonna make a difference. Whatever. No, I think is. he does care. Is that, you can tell from his emotional responses. Because you believe these things you said. I'm gonna go home. As you should. Your wife's probably like, where the fuck is my husband? <laughs> Haven't seen him for the past couple of days. Although I do not blame him for needing a drink after what happened today. So close to catching him and he just managed to get away. It's been another murder. Long day at work. Detective Mills. Oh, it makes me sad that he is like no one to to go home to and talk about, you know, just work with and that he regrets. Can you repeat that? I've gone and done it again. Oh no. Another murder. He's really picking up the pace now. What the fuck? Right? He did it very recently. I'm guessing she was a model or something then. These murders are so brutal and effed up yeah you can't really walk out in the middle of a case like this oh this is the guy that guy got blood on him looks like blood splatters on him after this i'm gone all the way all the way fucker so that's how he doesn't have fingerprints anywhere he's got like little taped up fingers why is he giving himself over tips of his fingers that's why we couldn't find oh, one single so usable print in his apartment so we don't get to question you don't he's going to court now I'm what you, there's no way he would 
just... He's not finished. No, he's just pissing in our faces and we're just taking it like idiots. Did he finish the seven killings then? We haven't found all seven bodies. Only at six o'clock today. Why? Why us? Downstairs, locked up, done deal. He's gonna get his free room and Doesn't seem that simple though. TV. He's Hell planning man, some shit. He will sign a full confession, plead guilty right now. It's Why? Your case. Make a decision. This doesn't make any sense! Full confession. And blood from a third party. As yet unidentified. Only one, not two. You'd be escorting an unarmed man. Yeah, but what was the trap? <laughs> oh, this is making me anxious. I wonder what the message from his wife was. I just have a bad feeling about the wife. That something's going to happen to her. Because she's pregnant as well. Was Wolfie's counting two? Where's like the baby? I'm overthinking this, I think. I'm just getting too deep. But I just have like a bad gut feeling that she left a message and he looked at it and then put it in his pocket and then he turned up. Like, ugh. I just really hope it's not her. I'm stressed. Why are you shaving your chest? This is not important. I literally feel sick. I don't know if it was from the movie or from the amount of caffeine I've had today, but we need to fucking hurry this shit up because I'm so nervous. <laughs> There's only blood from a third party found as well. Like she hasn't really been in the film that much, like hasn't had much of a significant role, but she's been there. I just really hope I'm overthinking this shit. I really hope I am. I just hope they fucking hurry up getting changed. I just want to see. Oh, this is so tense. I'm sweating. My heart is literally racing so fast. I hate this. They're really dragging this part out. I can't remember. So where are we heading? What? You'll see. Oh, God. <laughs> no, the headphone fell out. Wait. Poor People will barely be able to comprehend, but they won't be able to deny. And I what? What are we? <laughs> he's very vague. For you to see, I really can't. It's really going to be something. Oh God, he's looking at when Detective you know Mills when he says that as well. So when they... I'm a fucking throw up if they don't hurry up with this. Where are they going? Well, at least they're not in the city, so that means it's less likely to be his wife. We're just in the middle of fucking nowhere now. You enjoyed torturing those people. He's got this a point. Seem in keeping with martyrdom, does it? How happy would it make you to hurt me with impunity? He's deflecting. It hurts my feelings. He's avoiding the question. I would never. You wouldn't only because there's consequences. You point him out to your friends so that they could join you in mocking him, a man who, if you mm, saw only if you're him fucking while you were cruel eating, and judgmental, you be able to finish your meal. We tolerate it because it's common. It's it's trivial. What does it mean you morning, noon, have the night. right to murder people? things aren't so black and white like the like for example the obese person you don't know like what medical conditions they can have well what mental health conditions they can have why they are the way they are you, he's just making assumptions and i seem to remember breaking your face your beautiful face <laughs> sit back you fucking freak shut your fucking mouth Stop reacting. That's what you're he wants. Messiah. You're a you're a movie. He wants of the a week. reaction. You're a fucking t-shirt, at best. Just ignore him, because that's what he would hate if you just fucking ignored him. He's played right into his hands. He reacted exactly how we wanted him to. There's really not long of the film left. It's making me nervous. <laughs> it's got like ten minutes left. What's gonna happen in these ten minutes? And why this location as well? Out in the open compared to the other ones. Oh, there's a caravan here. Who owns this caravan? If I was get them... Are oh, they going to get him out? Okay. I was going to say, if I was them, I'd cover the car so you couldn't see what was happening and like their reactions. Because that's what he craves. He craves the, the attention. Dead dog. Wait, is that... I didn't do that. Okay. I was going to say, what if those are his dogs? It's close. What Let's is? Let's go take a look. It's like pissing me off. It's this way. What's that? Who's that? What the fuck? What's happening? 
Has he got accomplices? Arms dressed! What's happening? What's he doing? Who is that? Who is that? What's happening? David Mills. It's gonna be in the box. Who's gonna be in the box? I'm sending the driver out on foot. That poor driver is trying to do his fucking job. Along the road, haven't picked up. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is happening? I feel like we should wait for the bomb squad, right? Oh, he's tempted to open it though, isn't he? I'm gonna open it. Oh my god! <laughs> Who's gonna be in the box? Is that blood? You've made quite a life for yourself. Is that blood? Proud. Shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. Is it gonna be? Shit. Oh my god! I'm scared. It's gonna be her, isn't it? Oh, what is it? Show me! <gasps> but don't show me. Just tell me. <laughs> John Doe has the upper hand. What is it, Bob? What is it? I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife. No. Ooh. Oh my god, I believe you. He's gonna shoot him. He's gonna smart. shoot him. Give me your gun. Come on over there. Fucking cool it. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because it seems that envy is my sin. Oh, so, oh, so he's the seventh body. What's in the fucking He's expected to be killed. She was the sixth. He's the seventh. You tell me, you tell me. That's not true. That's not true. Become vengeance. Ah, oh, she's all right. You tell me. Become. Don't do it. It's what he wants. Tell me she's all right. No. no. She begged for her life, Detective. Shut up! Don't, she begged don't shoot life. him! Don't Shut shoot up. him! Is what he wants! The life of the baby inside of her. Oh. He still didn't know. He didn't know. Fuck! No! No, don't! Give the gun, babe. The thing is, I'm like, I can't even blame him for it. He fucking killed his wife and his, his pregnant wife. Oh, he's gonna go check the box. Holy shit, this film. Bruh. I wasn't mentally prepared for this. I need to fucking cool down and calm down. I'm fucking sweating. This film has literally made me sweat. And worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. Oh, that was Kevin Spacey? I didn't even fucking recognize him. Holy shit. That film. That was wild. That was a wild roller coaster of emotion. I did sort of call it in the film what, that she was going to die, but I was like praying it wouldn't happen and that I, I hoped I was just being paranoid and. Oh, but yeah. Fuck. That was not what I expected. I going to this film of having no clue what it's about is a shock to the system. When it first starts, like, oh, okay, a detective film, and then it's just like the most gruesome, effed up, serial killer murders, gory as well. Like, I don't really care for gore. Like, I don't mind it, but I prefer not to see it. So there's that as well. Crazy. Not what at all I was expecting. And the fact that he got away with it and he was caught him is so infuriating. And that Mills did shoot him. Like, I wish he hadn't, because, like, by doing that, he's fucked up his own life. I mean, obviously, it was fucked anyway, because his wife was, was been murdered and beheaded. But yeah, the film sort of hinted towards it because she was, like, lonely and sad and she was in the film and it wasn't clear why she was in the film. And then when she, like, left the message, it was like, fuck, like, this has got to be it. Like, he's got her. Because he seems so dismissive of the message as well. I wish I could find out what the message was. Did she ring him like scared? Or was it just like a call to see how he was? Like I wish they had told us that. But 
but either way it was really fucked up and i'm not sure if i enjoyed that film or not because it really stressed me out it was a very stressful film true crime like i was really into true crime like a year ago and i had to stop watching it because it made me really paranoid and like it's so just mentally straining and that film was mentally straining was not expecting that i can see why it's highly rated though it's incredible acting by everyone in it um and obviously the plot twist at the end and yeah overall a good film just very stressful and anxiety inducing um but yeah if you guys have any more recommendations for films let me know in the comments down below um there's quite a few that i want to get around to like shawshank redemption um or a scarf like loads of films i haven't seen which are really highly rated so let me know what you want me to watch in the comments down below and what you thought of this film i'm so curious to see what you guys think thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it please remember to smash the like button if you haven't already hit subscribe and as always the full reactions are on patreon and i'll see you guys in the next video bye